Hello, it's your old machine shop instructor Ed here again. Uh, I'm going to do one other thing like uh, can I draw in Fusion and import the drafting file into Mastercam? Let me, um, I just pulled up my Titan 2M that I drew in Fusion. And Fusion, the Fusion suffix is, um, I, think, I don't think it says right on here, it's F3D, I think it is, which Mastercam cannot open. So you're going to have to save it as or export as something else. Yeah, right now it's an F3D. And, uh, how do we import it? We can use any of these files like, oh, look at this. You can save it as an inventor file or a, another one I like is step file. I, I've had this when uh, I had issues with somebody sending me SolidWorks files and the Mastercam wasn't quite up to date and uh, it would not read the SolidWorks file. <laughs> it would only read a step file. All right, I'm going to save this as this. Ooh, it says requires a cloud translation. Let me try the step file. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put it in my download file. I'm going to put it in my USB. I'm going to put it in my USB here as step file. Save. And export. I go into the master cam and I'm going to say file new just to give me myself a clear screen. It's asked me if I want to save this. I, this is going to actually be saved on this computer so you want to make sure if you're going bouncing back and forth for file management you want, might want to get a big USB or a remote hard drive. Alright so I'm going to do file open computer look into my USB in Mastercam and I don't see anything because right now it's looking for a Mastercam file so I have to go in and look at all the files you can open up AutoCAD, Parasolid, Step, SolidWorks, Inventor so if I say all it's actually picking up stuff that not even openable. Let me just put on step. And there it is right there. And options. I just want to read these options. Import solids, import edge curves. I, I've learned with SolidWorks to do the edge curves. I'm going to do the same thing here. Hit the green check mark. Hit open. And let's see what we get here. And there it is. All right. And uh, I'm going to hit the top view. Now, this is probably a good lesson in importing files. Right now, we are in the basic top plane. This happens a lot with uh, SolidWorks people. They'll design any which way you want, but it doesn't quite align to where, the way you want it. You can either assign the uh, work coordinate into this view, or my preference is to just uh, rotate this so it lines up with my standard views. I'm going to the fit command. I'm going to go to transform, and i got to rotate it. I'm going to flip it this way. So I'm going to hit uh, rotate right here. And it says select entities. I'm going to do a window selection. And it says end selection. But notice the steering wheel is this way. It's, it's not the way we want to rotate it. Because it's it's trying to rotate around the Z axis, and right now the Z axis is this way. Let's see, 
if he, if he follows a little genome down here. Okay. I could do it a couple different ways. One's a dynamic rotation, but this is a pretty simple one. So I got to actually change my plane so I'm looking at it from the back, back, bottom, bottom. So top is now. Um, I'm, this one, I'm getting mixed up already. I think I went back, back. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go transform, rotate. There it is. I'm gonna have window select. Come on. The wheel is out already and I haven't selected anything. Oh, wait a minute, that, that's, this way won't work. Let me go back to where it was. I think this little laptop's getting me kind of messed up. Fit. Uh, unzoom. Alright, so we want to rotate it around. If I look at it from this side, oh, left view, left view. That would work. Left view. Left. Right there. Okay. So I want to rotate it. Actually, let me leave the planes out here. That's graphics view. Graphics view. Construction, construction. Okay. Hit the top. Okay. Now I reorientated the. Oop. The wrong one. Come on, Sluggo. So if I'm on top graphics view, I want to rotate this way. So I need to put my construction plane there, which means Z is facing me. Now I'm going to window select. And then my wheel is in the correct direction, and I'm going to rotate. Hit the tab button. I'm going to put minus 90. Hit enter. Of course, this is a okay, slow graphics machine. Okay. Notice it says copy. I wanted to move it. There we go. And it's done, and we'll check the orientation. So if I go back to oop, planes, put everything on top, or hit the equals button, hit fit, and unzoom a little bit, it is lined up with the left-hand corner. Okay, notice it's a purple color. Um, in Mastercam, they call that a result. And just hit this clear colors thing and be back to the color that it was. And I probably want my Z to be down here. I, I, I don't necessarily have to do that, but I could do that pretty easily. I'm going to do a translate and select all entities by window selection. I did not get everything. Clear selection. Window select and selection and translate means I can move up and down and I'm just going to put a negative 0.75 and hit the move command so go here and go to the right click clear colors okay so this would be the orientation I would want for my setup so I've imported a fusion file with the step uh, file and now I can start doing my my cam work. I can get right into here, go to this machine, pick a mill, default. This will work mill default. And uh, what I usually do is put in my program number and assign tool number sequentially and duplicates. And I'll accept that. I'll move this window up a little bit. 
and then I can start setting my stock and all that kind of stuff. So if, now if I go isometric and top, it it just I like to do these quick views, and I don't want to be like all mixed up. So I'd rather just move the move it to where you want, or you, or you can learn how to reassign planes, which is a little bit more work, but we'll get there. Okay. So I'll shut this.